This is day one of Infocom TV News. Welcome to Convention TV's on-site coverage of Infocom 16. I'm Jill Nicolini, and as usual, I'll be reporting on all things Infocom right here from our studio. And our reporter, Melora Donahue, will be checking in throughout the show with the latest news straight from the lovely Las Vegas Convention Center. Hey, Melora. Hey, Jill. It is great to be back in Las Vegas for another exciting Infocom. The crew at Testa Communications has been hard at work sniffing out this year's biggest stories and we'll be bringing those to you throughout the next three days. And it already looks like this might be one of the biggest shows yet, so stick with us if you don't want to miss out. Thanks so much, Melora. Well, some things have certainly changed since the last Infocom. The news media and the country as a whole has been laser focused on the upcoming presidential election. It's been unlike any election most of us can remember, and there are a lot of questions about the future leadership of the nation. And these uncertainties have affected business as well. Insecurity abounds, the stock market is unsure. But despite all that, the folks over at Infocom International are predicting an increase in attendance over last year's show. And most importantly, all the biggest names in the commercial AV industry, the ones you came to see, will be right here in Las Vegas. You are right, Jill, and we are kicking things off in a big way. I have made my way over to the Crestron booth where I have two VIPs, Mr. Randy Klein, CEO and CTO Fred Bargetzi. So tell me what makes this booth unique and why should people be excited to come visit you guys? If you look around this entire exhibit, it's all about, as, this, as the title up there says, technology for every space. It's about every space needs any, some kind of technology, our technology, our industry's technology, and they come together in a managed platform to form the enterprise, or as we call it, the Crestron Enterprise. So if you walk around here, you'll see, yeah, you'll see products, but they're set in the stage of an application, and they're set in the stage of a system or an entire enterprise system, and it's all centered around workplace technology. So, Fred, what would you like to add to that, you know, as far as the Crestron Enterprise, or I like to say community? So I think one of the challenges that systems integrators and designers have today is putting all the technology together. And today, the big challenge is manufacturers typically make one part of the technology. The big difference behind Crestron is we make virtually every part of the technology. So from video to audio, to secure type products, to network applications, enterprise management software, mobile applications, we have it all. It all comes together in one unique way under one platform to provide that true enterprise solution. The VO 4K by Analog Way is a multi-format converter for LED wall applications. It comes standard with seven inputs, including dual link DVI, display port, HDMI, and universal analog, and it can convert signals into an array of output formats up to 30 hertz 4K. With optional modules, we can do up to 4K 60 uh, over one cable. For instance, HDMI 2.0, display port 1.2, uh, we also have LED wall specific test patterns, custom output resolutions, and area of interest management. And we also have a front panel uh, video monitor where we can monitor the inputs or the outputs. Focusrite's RedNet line of Dante interfaces just keeps getting better. The latest entry in the RedNet product line, the A8R, offers eight additional channels of analog I.O. Access to the channels is provided via dual rear panel DB25 connectors. The device also features two XLR connectors for two channels of AES EBU Digital. And it offers full network and power supply redundancy to keep your your audio network up and running during mission critical applications. All right, here's some big news from a major player in the projector market. Hitachi has just released their first ever solid state laser projector. It uses DLP technology to deliver 8,000 lumens at WXGA resolution. Now the projector can be run 24 seven for a whopping 20,000 hours of maintenance free operation. And it packs plenty of inputs, plus seven optional lenses, making it a great choice for a wide range of applications. 
Sound and Communications Editor David Silverman made his way over today to the wonderful Westgate Event Center to speak with none other than Executive Director and CEO of Infocom, David Labuskis. Let's hear what he found out. I wanted to uh, uh, congratulate you. I understand that this is going to be one of the biggest shows you've ever had. Thank you very much. We are very excited about the show. It looks like it's going to be a record breaker on almost all fronts. We've broken a thousand exhibitors. We're over a half a million square feet of space. We have over 3,000 people taking education. It's going to be a big, great, exciting place to be. That's great to hear. Uh, now, I understand that you're working on a three-year plan. Can you give us an idea of what's going on with that? Absolutely. Infocom refreshes their strategic plan every three years, so it's due this year. What's exciting is we're looking from now through the end of the decade at this point. We've done a lot of work identifying what success looks like in three years. We've looked at who is our customer, how do we segment them to best serve them. I think you're going to see amazing growth and continued relevance for Infocom over the rest of this decade. Thanks so much, David. We'll be right back with more of Infocom TV news right after these messages. Please stay with us. Let Barco control your room with just a click. ClickShare can now control your entire room with Neats. Come by Starin Booth C5634S to see it. Wow, look at that packaging. It's just incredible what we've got here. Awesome. One System's Hybrid Series provides systems integrators with a universal direct weather loudspeaker solution for outdoor venues that require high fidelity loudspeakers with outstanding intelligibility, which also makes them exceptional for indoor applications. Visit One Systems at Infocom booth C11716. Welcome back to Infocom TV News down at the PV booth. Well, the Claro processor is our next generation media matrix product uh, with 12 channels of inputs and eight outs. It's feature packed with well-known media matrix DSP processing blocks. It makes it perfect for meeting rooms, courtrooms, classrooms, and conferencing applications. With onboard echo cancellation, telephony, and media playback, it's all configured from a web, web browser, so installation costs are greatly reduced. Uh, it's got fully featured and documented API for quick control from a third-party control system, or you can pair it with our new N-Touch 180 HD or Kiosk 180 HD panels for seamless control. It's time for an upgrade. StarDrawer.com has just released StarDrawer Design 7.2, which is the latest version of their system design and documentation software. The two standout features are firstly PDF import. So we can now import a PDF drawing and create an editable drawing so you can manipulate the objects in that drawing. Also, we're now supporting the Infocom, CEDIA and CTA standard, JSTD 710. This adds 10,000 symbols for AV and control products for use in plan view drawings and there's a whole lot more as well. We also have Stardraw Design Online which is our new technology platform for creating custom applications to design, configure and buy custom configured products online. The Nova 37 by Law O AG is an IP Matty hybrid router for multi console mixing setups. It works with Law O's MC squared 36 mixers and IO stage boxes to create a smart network for both live and installed sound. The Nova 37 features a one touch rights management system that's accessed via the console's touchscreen. And it has eight Ravenna AES 67 ports and eight Matty ports with redundant PSUs for safe, secure networking. Keep your crew on the same page with Pliant Technologies' Crewcom Wireless Intercom. Crewcom combines the simplicity of a two-wire intercom with the flexibility of a matrix intercom. Now, the system includes IP67 rated full duplex radio packs. It's available in both 2.4 gig and 900 megahertz formats. Crewcom also features its own dedicated network backbone, CrewNet, which coordinates and transports the system's timing, audio, signaling, and controls. And the Crewware software interface gives users complete control over configuration and enables real-time monitoring of the system. 
Shine some light on those dark stage pockets with the Light Bright by Ace Backstage. This handy LED device lights up its immediate area for 50 seconds with the push of a button. It uses 6 volt DC coin batteries and can emit 110 degree light for up to 10,000 hours. And it uses commercial grade magnets to attach to any magnetic surface so you can keep your hands free while you work. I'll tell you, Jill, it is tough covering a show like Infocom. There are so many new product releases and huge breaking stories that it is nearly impossible to see everything. But don't you worry, if there's a must-see story, then Infocom TV News is on the case. Yes, we are, but we're lucky. All we have to do is report the news. The guys at Sound and Communications Magazine actually spend many, many weeks uncovering the news available before the show. And then they're running around coming up with the late breaking entries each and every day. John Carr came to Sound and Communications over 25 years ago with a background in AV production and engineering. He keeps up with the innovation and evolution in today's commercial AV world. Here is his eye on Infocom. Remember when the world was first embracing HD video and our industry was just as excited some 20 years ago? Certainly the display and capture side were, but the routing, distribution, and integration of HD proved more problematic. Well, it's deja vu all over again with 4K now. And likely one of the biggest challenges is where HD stands in an emerging 4K world. Scaling and format shifts aside, a particular problem the integration industry faces is legacy HD products integrating, or better yet, upgrading, into a 4K system. A venue, though content with HD now, will likely feel let down when the HD system is obsolete in five years or so. Ultimately, though, the integration company faces the long-term relationship challenge in keeping a client happy. Back to you, Jill. Stay with us, everyone. We've got so much more from QSC, One Systems, and much, much more. We'll be right back. Tired of racks filled with transformers, velcro, and zip ties? Meet OneRack, TV One's innovative, powerful new solution for time-saving, pain-free installations. Mount it, power it, cool it. Come see the future of rack space installations at TV One Booth 6818. Las Vegas Convention Center again. This is Infocom TV News, independently produced, written, and brought to you by Testa Communications, the publisher of the leading magazines in this market, Sound and Communications, and ITAV Report. And right now, our editors are working here throughout the show, getting the news you need to know when you need it. Our reports are taped and filed throughout the day and broadcasted to the convention halls and hotels 24 hours a day. And so you don't waste a moment. We are also seen on the buses going to and from your hotel, back and forth to the convention center. That's right. Infocom TV News makes it easier for you to stay in the know and get all the biggest stories in commercial AV. So whether you're in your hotel room, on a bus, or at the convention center, we're here for you 24 hours delivering you all the must-see stories. Oh, and don't forget that each episode of Infocom TV News is hosted on the Sound and Communications website. You can watch the show 24-7 on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, so you're always in the loop, even if you're on the go. To check it out, visit soundandcommunications.com slash Infocom TV News. Galaxy Audio's products are known for their out-of-this-world sound, and their new monitor and PA models boldly go where no speaker system has gone before. All right, what are you guys showing off this year over at Galaxy Audio? Well, we have a lot of new things. We've got a powered 8-inch monitor, a new rack mount, a AM FM tuner. We've also got some new headset microphone models, in addition to a new version of our hotspots. So the new GPS-8 features a 200-watt power amplifier. You've got an 8-inch woofer along with a 1-inch horn. 
The asymmetrical shape allows you to uh, mount it as a floor monitor, which is actually designed with good angling for floor monitor, in addition to, obviously, pole mounting. The new powered micro spot is a ground-up design. Uh, we've spent a number of years working on this design. It's got a 100-watt uh, bulletproof amplifier. You've got two band EQ, low and uh, high level adjustment with the volume control. It does come included with the bracket that you see here that allows you to mount it to a mic stand or wall mount or ceiling mount. And then naturally you can pivot the unit inside the bracket for better angle control. The 4K revolution is in full swing and Visionary Solutions has the products to prove it. Their new D4000 decoder and E4000 encoder deliver cinema quality, low latency 4K video in 1080 PHD from any number of sources to just about any number of displays. They can also transmit lower resolution video, digital and analog audio and control signals. All of these signals can be sent over a standard gigabyte network and both devices bypass the constraints of traditional matrix switching thanks to the flexibility and scalability of IP networking. QSC has expanded its QSIS ITAV platform with the addition of PTZ cameras and an AV to USB bridge. QSIS can now be used to integrate soft coded conferencing with video and audio feeds. The bridging solution leverages USB 2.0 drivers for soft codec applications like Skype, GoToMeeting, and Adobe Connect, eliminating the need for specialty drivers. And there are no limits to the amount of USB endpoints or cameras that can be added to a QSIS system, so users can design a conferencing solution for even the most complex room setups. And we will be right back. Please stay with us. One click wonder, for real. Win a click share with Control Bundle. Come by Starin Booth C5634. Visit Tascam in Central Hall, Booth 12014, to hear about our latest products and programs. Tascam, reinventing pro audio since 1973. For real-time audio via Wi-Fi, your choice is black and white. Experience the next-gen hearing hotspot, featuring the all-new, all-in-one hearing hotspot server. Spot the obvious at William Sound, booth C9836. over here at the Infocom booth in the Grand Lobby with Betsy Jaffe. Betsy, I hear that you recently wrote an article for Sound and Communications about the, you know, the importance of recruiting the next generation of AV professionals. What more can you tell me about this? Well, according to Infocom Research, the number one obstacle to further growth in the audiovisual industry is lack of access to qualified personnel. So what we need to do is educate kids when they're still in middle school about the wonders of AV, and then um, once they're in high school, offer them scholarships for college so that they could study an AV program in an institution, and then create a home for them at Infocom things like our Young Professionals Council and recognizing them through special awards. We feel through all of these different programs, um, we'll get that next generation into the industry and protect the industry for decades to come. So day one coverage of Infocom 2016 has gone pretty well. We've reported on some really interesting stories as well as some game-changing product releases. What do you think, Jill? Well, we are definitely off to a great start. The team at Sound and Communications told us this was going to be a huge show and they couldn't have been more right. There are a lot more stories out there to cover, so we will keep pounding the show floor until the doors close on Friday. If you're planning on designing any outdoor sound systems in the near future, then listen up. One Systems 108 HSB subwoofer is just what you need. Let's head to the show floor for more on this exciting product and also One Systems new brand, P Audio Loudspeaker Systems. Doug, tell attendees what they need to know about what you guys have new here at One Systems for Infocom 2016. 
on the heels of last year's launch of our hybrid series of weatherproof speakers, we're launching the new 108 HSB, 8-inch subwoofer with 316 grade stainless steel, and it's IP45 for ingress protection, and it's got a wide response to 200 watts continuous power handling in an 8-inch sub. We also have our full line of on-point audio installed speakers, and we're proud to also launch the new brand of P-Audio full range loudspeaker systems and subwoofers, including the VS8CX, which is a weather resistant loudspeaker system with 175 watts power handling capacity. Canon's Realis WUX450ST offers 4500 lumens of brightness and WUX GA resolution. It combines Elcos technology with ASUS enhancement to project detailed, contrasted, and color accurate images. It actually has a uh, great lens shift, 75% vertical lens shift on the short throw, and it's used for uh, simulation, uh, entertainment, um, also in colleges and museums, it has a very high color, a 12-bit of color reproducibility. It's also uh, capable of HD base T and Wi-Fi as well. The HD Bridge 3000 from ZV has everything you need to bridge the gap between video content and displays. This video distribution system can handle up to 24 channels of HD or 72 channels of SD and it only takes up 3RU of space. And what the 3000 really is going to allow people to do is bridge that gap between our existing RF products and our IP products. So it's IP capable but also does RF at the same time. And it's going to deliver great pristine HD picture quality and high density, a small footprint to stadiums, senior housing, student housing, places like that. You're getting your HDMI connections, your component connections, composite connections for distributing both HD and SD from RF and an IP simultaneously out of one platform. Sony is set to make some major waves in the LED array market. Their new crystal LED integrated structure allows for even more creativity and flexibility when designing large-scale displays. I am at the Sony booth right now with Sanders, who is going to talk to us about something extremely exciting this year at Infocom 2016. Sanders, tell our viewers what we need to know about this amazing thing behind you. What you're looking at behind me is an actual 8K by 2K micro LED canvas system. This canvas system is designed for the ultimate in picture quality in a large display. It can be built in various sizes, in this case it's up to 32 feet. And what it allows us to do is create an image that has exceptional picture quality, exceptional color accuracy, very wide viewing angle, and exceptional black level. Please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Many of you may not be aware we're in our second generation of family ownership. I'd like to invite you to stop by our booth and check out our new products. For any job, you need the right tool. StarDraw's latest design and documentation software imports PDF files to create editable drawings and includes industry standard symbols for architectural layouts. See everything that's new in StarDraw Design 7.2, the fast, easy way to draw and do more at booth C6441. Welcome back to Infocom TV News. This program is produced by Testa Communications, your best source for what's happening at Infocom, because TV works. That's why you're watching it. Right, Melora? That's right, Jill. And we thank you all for watching us. I am with Jason McGraw, who is Infocom International Senior Vice President of Expositions. Jason, such an exciting year for 2016 in Infocom. Lots of new additions to this year's show. What can you tell me about them? Well, Malar, we've focused a lot this year on improving the attendee and exhibitor experience. We've added a lot of special features. We've added a lot of additional services like extra shuttle buses, wayfinding, ambassadors to help find their uh, attendees find their way around the show. We've added a lot of new show floor features this year, including our Internet of Things Pavilion in the North Hall. Uh, we've expanded the drone pavilion also in the North Hall, our innovation showcase. Over in the Central Hall, we have the live events experience and the new content creation and streaming 
Streaming Pavilion. Both of those are very hands-on, so attendees can come and try the products and learn from the pros. Um, we've added a lot of different seating, new food venues on the floor. We have a beer truck and food uh, truck, excuse me, beer garden food truck, big tent outside. It's air conditioned uh, during the three days of the show. So a lot of new fun events for attendees uh, to experience on the floor, off the floor. It's going to be a fabulous week. When it comes to life, liberty, and the pursuit of great sound, Anchor Audio has you covered. Liberty Air, the latest addition to the Liberty Portable Sound System, gives you the freedom to bring top flight audio just about anywhere. This battery powered companion speaker connects to the main Liberty unit from 150 feet away and can run for up to eight hours on a single charge. It packs 125 watts of power and outputs 117 decibels of clean, clear sound. One Liberty Air unit boosts the Liberty Sound System's coverage from 1,500 people to 3,000, and multiple units can be connected for even more coverage. Well, that's it for our first day of Infocom TV news. Of course, we thank you all for your hard work out there, especially you, Melora. Did you have fun? I'm having a blast, Jill. I mean, who wouldn't with all this amazing product on display? And it's always a treat to catch up with the amazing people who work in this industry. The crew are already looking forward to coming back tomorrow, but for you viewers, you better get some shut-eye because the next two days are going to be jam-packed. We will catch up with you again tomorrow right here from the show floor. See you then. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm Jill Nicolini, and we'll see you tomorrow.